let us listen to a story about two friends and their beautiful home. One was Jal, a crocodile who lived in a wetland. Another was Bhumi, a monkey living on a nearby willow tree. Both were best friends and shared their experiences with each other. One day, Bhumi came rushing to Jal. She was carrying a colorful plastic packet and waving it around excitedly. The crocodile was lazing on a rock on this sunny morning. On seeing an excited Bhumi, Jal woke up and went to the monkey eager to know what had happened. Come Jal, come. I will show you something. I found this at the nearby bus stop where the bus arrives from the nearby city. Mentioning the city, Bhumi takes out a bright colored plastic packet of potato chips. Look at this packet. It is so colorful. And see, it makes an interesting sound. Fascinated by this vibrant new toy, Jal was curious to know more. What is it? I don't know. But the children sitting on the other side of the bench of the bus stop were calling it... Mm, uh, yes, chips. What? Chips? Hold on, Bumi. But the monkey opened the packet, took out a chip and started munching. And then another and another. Looking at the monkey gobbling chips, the crocodile exclaimed. <laughs> My dear friend, you look happy, enjoying that packet greedily. But I think you have forgotten about all the nutrition and natural gifts our home provides. Hearing this, Bhumi's face turned curious. Scratching her head, she asked, What do you mean? I'm talking about our home. The one nature has given us. The one where land meets water. The magical fusion of two habitats. Not the city with its building, cars and train tracks. Mm, I think I understand. Where land meets water. Mm, yes, and that is where we live. Um, yes, even our names come together to represent our home, Jal and Bhumi, making Jal Bhumi, which means... Oh, I know, wetlands. Exactly, Bhumi. Come, let me take you around to remind you of the beauty that our beloved wetlands host. Jal and Bhumi now travel together to explore their rich surroundings. See how huge this area is. The pond where I live is just a part of it. The other side of this area fills up with water only during the monsoon season. The rest of the year it has wet soil with small puddles of water here and there. Look how these grasses, small herbs and lichens are growing all around us. Yes meaning wetlands have damp soil and have water for at least some part of the year. And even the plants are unique. Can you also see the insects crawling and swimming around the pond? Bhumi was hanging from the creeper and tangled on one of the branches of the nearby willow tree. Um, I can't see them. <laughs> Come down, my dear friend. And he pulled at the monkey's hand. The monkey descended further and gazed at the tiny creatures crawling on the wet soil around, amazed at the diversity of life. Wow, this is like a beautiful web of life. Shh, if you listen carefully, you can hear the sound of uni birds and animals. Come here. Have you ever seen this side of the wetland? Look at the water chestnuts growing in the shallow side. They are delicious to munch upon. Go ahead, try some. Bhumi grabbed some of the water chestnut. Mm. 
tasty. Not only these, I have seen people enjoy hot steaming rice, crunchy fox nuts and nutritious water spinach along with fish, prawns and mussels. These ecosystems are fascinating, aren't they? Yes, they are. As they continue walking around, appreciating the beauty of wetland, they suddenly come across a tortoise entangled in a packet of chips. Oh, look at this. Someone must have littered the water with this empty packet of plastic. It is troubling this tortoise. Let us set it free. Both the friends help the tortoise get free from the packet of chips. Thank you, Jal, for bringing me back in touch with the beautiful web of life, Wetlands Host. Oh, wow! Oh, how wonderful are these natural habitats, which provide us with enriching sounds, lush greens, pure water and abundant food. It provides all these not only for those who live here in the wetland. but the people, animals and plants that live in the city. Let me go to the bus stop and tell this to the children. Enact the story with your friends. <laughs>